You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Ruth Chapter 4. And this is what we read. Boaz went to the town gate and took a seat there. Just then the family redeemer he had mentioned came by, so Boaz called out to him, Come over here and sit down, friend. I want to talk to you. So they sat down together. Then Boaz called ten leaders from the town and asked them to sit as witnesses. And Boaz said to the family redeemer, You know Naomi who came back from Moab. She is selling the land that belonged to our relative Elimelech. I thought I should speak to you about it so that you can redeem it if you wish. If you want the land, then buy it here in the presence of these witnesses. But if you don't want it, let me know right away, because I am next in line to redeem it after you. The man replied, All right, I'll redeem it. Then Boaz told him, Of course, your purchase of the land from Naomi also requires that you marry Ruth, the Moabite widow. That way she can have children who will carry on her husband's name and keep the land in the family. Then I can't redeem it, the family redeemer replied because this might endanger my own estate. You redeem the land. I cannot do it. Now in those days, it was the custom in Israel for anyone transferring a right of purchase to remove his sandal and hand it to the other party. This publicly validated the transaction. So the other family redeemer drew off his sandal as he said to Boaz, You buy the land. Then Boaz said to the elders and to the crowd standing around, You are witnesses that today I have bought from Naomi all the property of Elimelech, Kilion, and Malon. And with the land I have acquired Ruth, the Moabite widow of Malon, to be my wife. This way she can have a son to carry on the family name of her dead husband and to inherit the family property here in his hometown. You are all witnesses today. Then the elders and all the people standing in the gate replied, We are witnesses. May the Lord make this woman who is coming into your home like Rachel and Leah, from whom all the nation of Israel descended. May you prosper in Ephrathah and be famous in Bethlehem. And may the Lord give you descendants by this young woman who will be like those of our ancestor Perez, the son of Tamar and Judah. So Boaz took Ruth into his home and she became his wife. When he slept with her, the Lord enabled her to become pregnant, and she gave birth to a son. Then the women of the town said to Naomi, Praise the Lord who has now provided a Redeemer for your family. May this child be famous in Israel. May he restore your youth and care for you in your old age. For he is the son of your daughter-in-law who loves you and has been better to you than seven sons. Naomi took the baby and cuddled him to her breast, and she cared for him as if he were her own. The neighbor women said, Now at last Naomi has a son again, and they named him Obed. He became the father of Jesse and the grandfather of David. This is the genealogical record of their ancestor Perez. Perez was the father of Hezron. Hezron was the father of Ram. Ram was the father of Aminadab. Aminadab was the father of Nashon. Nashon was the father of Salmon. Salmon was the father of Boaz. Boaz was the father of Obed. Obed was the father of Jesse. Jesse was the father of David. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege to be able to spend some time looking together at this short book, the book of Ruth. And Lord, in this book, we see an illustration of something taking place here that illustrates a greater reality that is promised to your church. Lord, we watch Ruth go from being a foreigner who looks like she's destitute to being redeemed, to being married, to being provided for, and a lineage coming from her. And Lord, again, we know that through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, we are rescued and we are redeemed. Lord, as this passage ends, we're told here of the fact that listed among the descendants of Ruth and Boaz is a man named David. 
And David ultimately is raised up as the king of Israel. And in David, we also see a picture of the ultimate king of Israel, your son, Jesus Christ. So, Lord, there's so many things in this passage, there's so many things in this book that point our hearts to your son, Jesus Christ. And we pray, Lord, that we would recognize these things and that likewise our minds and our hearts every single day would be pointed toward Jesus Christ who rescues and redeems us, who calls us unto himself, and who provides for us in every way. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for the new life and the gift of salvation that we have through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, that throughout the course of this day, that we would live as men and women who are conscious of the fact that we have been rescued and redeemed by our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. And we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks again for listening to this episode of the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. If you're a regular listener and you enjoy this podcast, would you be willing to take a moment and leave a rating or review for us on Apple Podcasts or whichever podcasting app you use? The process to do so is very simple, and if you're using the Apple Podcasts app, just scroll to the bottom of the list of episodes in this podcast to leave your rating and to share a sentence or two in your review. Leaving a rating or review probably doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but it's actually one of the best ways you can help this podcast reach new listeners because each review we receive, it works like a vote in Apple's algorithm that encourages their system to help promote the show. So thanks again for leaving us a rating or a review. We greatly appreciate your help, and we hope you have a wonderful day.